All right, uh, hi. Uh, today we're going to uh, set up our uh, Raspberry Pi. Brand new Raspberry Pi. Um, this is here on the uh, on the right. This one's in a uh, perspex case. This other one here is uh, running a um, web server, a LAMP server uh, that I set up. But this one here we're going to set up um, from scratch. So I've already plugged in the Ethernet cable here. Uh, I've got a power cable uh, ready to go. That's just plugged into a uh, USB hub, which is you can see just up here. This uh, it's a 10 point USB hub. My power, my buys from that. Okay, let's pull that back on there. Right, okay. Um, I've got a brand new um, 8 gigabyte um, SanDisk um, SD card, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, transfer the Raspberry Pi image um, to this. I'll just open that up out of its case. Um, I bought a bunch of these off um, eBay, got them for about eight bucks each. So they come in uh, this kind of packet here, like this. Um, I've had no problems with them. This is a SanDisk 8 gig um, card, and like I said, they were about eight bucks each. I bought um, four at that time. Okay, so what I'm going to do this, I'm just going to uh, hook this up into my uh, uh, SD card uh, reader that's hooked up to my laptop. So in a moment we'll just uh, uh, we'll remote just top into the uh, my laptop and we'll burn this image. Okay, so just bear with me and I'll just hook this into my uh, in my burner. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to remote just top into my uh, laptop. So there it is, laptop one. We'll connect to that. Is there? All right, I'm ready uh, on my desktop here. I've got the uh, uh, Win32 disk imager that I uh, pulled down off their website. I've also got the latest uh, Raspberry Pi um, image from their website also. So if you haven't got those two items, you uh, should pull them um, pull them down off the web. All right, so I'm going to go into my disk imager. Well, actually, first I'm going to go into uh, uh, my computer, and we're just going to find out which drive the um, the SD card is so I'm going to go computer and it's this one here removable disk E so make sure you choose the right drive because uh, the disk imager will override anything that's on any disk uh, so I won't want to wipe out my storage or my C drive so just be careful alrighty so I'm just going to open this up the reason I run this on my laptop is it doesn't run on my 64 desktop uh, 64 bit desktop at all I'm not sure why so I'm just going to double click on that. Alright, you're going to get the obligatory warning. And click on yes. And there it is, it'll pop up. Alright, so first thing to do, make sure that you've uh, selected the right drive. So E drive in my case. And then you need to hook the image file up. So I'm just going to click on that. It's going to take me to my desktop. And there's my Raspberry Pi image. It's got a .img um, uh, suffix on that. Uh, so click on save. That's gone in there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this to the E drive. So I'm just going to click on write, and I'll get a confirm overwrite. Um, are you sure you want to continue? Yep, sure do. And off it'll go. So this will take five minutes maybe. So I'll just pause the video uh, while it does that. Okay, well, that took three minutes total. So it's told me that the right has uh, it's been successful. So I'm going to just uh, click on the OK button there. Uh, I don't need the disk imager anymore, so I'm just going to close that up. And in fact, I'm going to close up my uh, uh, laptop um, remote desktop session also. So click on OK. That's gone right. So I'll just grab the disk. And we'll plug it into our Raspberry Pi. So I'm just going to turn it over. Plug it in. Whoops. There it is. And I'll power this on. It's powered on by putting the uh, putting the plug in. So I'll just push that in there like so. And it's a bit hard to see with this light um, with the plastic cover on it, but the uh, red light has come on. And now the green lights and the uh, orange light. And there you 
green lights flickering. Just give it a second or so. Okay, so I've given this a uh, few, few seconds just to uh, make sure that it's booted up properly. What I'm going to do now is going to uh, desktop. Uh, I'm going to use a putty session now to uh, S, um, to connect to the Pi. So it's going to uh, uh, click on that, and I'm just going to double click on uh, my IP address, which is 192.168.1.104 in this case. Double click on that. It's going to open up. Whoop. All right, it's telling me that it hasn't hooked to this uh, machine before, or to this image actually. Um, so it's just going to add the new uh, RSA um, fingerprint. I'm going to click on yes, and it's asked me now to log in. I'm going to just log in as Pi. This is the default account. Raspberry is the password, and bang, it's looking pretty good. Um, so that shows that we've got um, a connection. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the config file. So RAS B config. Okay, and now we're into the uh, the RAS B config file. So first thing I'm going to do is. Um, I'm going to change the time zone. So I'm in, in Western Australia, so I'm just going to change this uh, time zone. So you click on that, set time zone. And I should get a list of. There we go. So despite the fact that I live in Australia on the uh, Indian Ocean, I actually have to go up to the Asia section. So I'm just going to click on that. And I know I'm the same as Hong Kong. So I'll just click on down to Hong Kong and select OK. Right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to change the memory split. Now, I'm not even going to run um, any graphics on this um, card. I'm going to do everything uh, by the command line. Um, so I'm going to change the memory split. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kick this back to 16 um, for my uh, for the GPU. That's the graphics card. So click on that. And I think everything else is looking good. Um, I'm going to actually establish a new account, but I would strongly suggest that you definitely do this. Change the password for the uh, for the uh, primary user. Okay. Uh, and I have to reboot apparently. I didn't know that. Yes. Okay. So there you go. So it's unexpected to close the network. Okay. I'll close that. Alright, so I'm just going to close this window and we'll have to open another one. So, same IP, uh, Pi, Raspberry, and we're in. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that everything is as up to date as possible. So, I'm going to run the update command and then I'm going to run the upgrade command. Update will update all the packages, make sure that they're the latest version. Um, upgrade will upgrade the um, uh, the kernel, um, so the operating uh, system files if necessary. So, I have to do this as a super user, so I'm going to do sudo attitude. Um, upgrade. No, update. I'm going to go update first. And click on there. And you should build a dependencies list in a moment. Let's get on the web. There we go. So it's starting to. Uh, uh, there we go. So it's connecting, it's pulling down files, all sorts of things. Um, I'll uh, just pause this video and we'll see how long that takes. Okay, so that just took over a minute. Um, as you can see, it's loaded a bunch of uh, new files. So we've got 100 updates there and 70 new ones. All right, we're going to do the same again, We're going but this time we're going to upgrade. This will take a bit longer. Um, so use the aptitude command again, and this time upgrade. Pretty much the same thing will happen. It'll, uh, it'll start building its dependency tree, and then where it go? All right, so we'll see. 
Uh, so it's about a minute in, it's asking me a question here. It's saying uh, 100 patches is upgraded, you installed, none to up, remove, none to upgrade. Uh, it's going to take 85.6 uh, megabytes of the archive. Do I want to proceed? You betcha. So I'm going to uh, click on the Y there, and press enter, and it'll carry on on its merry way. Uh, okay, so uh, that's upgraded now. Um, that took about 15 minutes, I think. Um, but at this point in time, you've now got a uh, nice, clean, um, as fresh as it can possibly be, Raspberry Pi. Um, so it's now ready for any project that you um, want to do with it. Uh, I'm going to use this one to set up a... Uh, a web server just to, to uh, show people how uh, we can do that um, but I know that it's got a nice uh, uh, it's got the best um, OS that it can possibly have at this time now the update command that I used earlier the first one that I used um, you probably should run that fairly uh, regularly make sure that all your packages and everything are up to date um, upgrade you probably won't run that again um, it may cause um, some stability issues if you've got a whole bunch of things um, already installed um, anyway, so there you go, that's how to set up a Raspberry Pi um, pretty much from scratch. Um, catch you guys next time.